there! So today we're going to talk about one of my favorite, favorite artists, uh, Banksy. And we are going to do a really fun um, graffiti craft on paper today. So for our craft, you're going to need some black and white paint. If all you have is red or green or whatever sitting around, um, grab that. You're going to either need a um, paintbrush or sponge. I like to put my paint on a paper plate so that way when we're done we can just put it in the recycle. Um, you're going to need some stencils and I'll tell you in a little bit how to make those so really you just need some paper. I use newspaper and I use some old magazines for mine um, and that's going to be all the supplies you're going to need for today. So let's learn a little bit about Banksy first and then we'll make our craft. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Banksy. He is one of my all-time favorite artists. He is a graffiti artist, and just to be 100% clear on this, graffiti is illegal unless someone specifically comes up to you and pays you to paint their wall that they own. A graffiti is an illegal um, art form. However, Banksy is extremely famous in this genre. So a lot of people really have never heard of Banksy. Who is he? Where did he come from? Why is he even famous? Uh, most people have never heard of Banksy, number one, because it is a graffiti art, and that's not necessarily considered the most mainstream art. Uh, he also, the subject of his art are social commentaries. He is a social activist, so he uses his art to express his opinions. Most of them are anti-violence opinions, or they have something to do with poverty and the state that he sees people living in. In 2010, Banksy was actually named one of the 10, one of the 100 most influential people along with Serena Williams, Bill Clinton, Jet Li, Lady Gaga, and others. So how can he be this famous for his graffiti art and yet nobody really knows who he is? Actually, really no one knows who he is. He prefers to remain anonymous, which means he really doesn't want anyone to recognize him. Um, probably a good idea since, again, what he does is illegal. It would not be good if everyone knew his face. His last interview was held in 2003. Even during that interview, the inner, we are unsure if it was the actual artist Banksy who was present or if he sent in a friend to conduct the interview for him. There is one interview that is on record that apparently he did attend, but he attended with a paper bag over his head. So again, we still don't know what he he looks like. We do have two pictures. Let's see if we can bring them up there for you. And in both of these pictures, this man that you see is suspected of being the actual Banksy. Now when I look at him, I don't see that they could be the same person. Possibly they are. Um, I don't know. So take a good look. Tell me what you think. You think that that could be the same person? Maybe that's Banksy. Maybe it's not. I don't know. So we don't know much about Banksy because he doesn't do interviews and he wants to remain anonymous. But what we do know is that he's from Bristol, England. He started painting in the 1980s. He actually started painting graffiti because it made him feel better about himself. He did very poorly in school and he was expelled. So he turned to art to really try to express himself. He moved to London in 1999 and he continued to work around there. So his oldest work, you can actually go to Bristol, England and see, and then you'll see more, more artwork around London. From there, he traveled all over the world. Um, he started to disguise himself around 2003 just because he wants to remain anonymous. And the kind of artwork, like we said, that he did is illegal, so it would be better if not everyone knew his face. He is definitely a social activist. Um, so what does it mean to be a social activist? If you look at his art, usually you can see the meanings. He doesn't over disguise them. So here's a few pieces of his artwork. Alright, so Banksy's style is 
extremely unique, very distinctive style. Um, he uses stencils because he needs to paint ex really quickly. Otherwise, he could get caught. Um, but yet his his pictures are extremely, his artwork is very, very detailed. So when you see a Banksy, you pretty much know that's that's his thing. Originally, um, the stencil, the stencils types of paintings that he did were used during wartime. Um, again, because they were trying to make the artwork very quickly and they were painted on buildings and whatnot. So he took the idea of that, but then kind of turned it on his head because he does a lot of anti-violence artwork. So here he's using an older style for something very, very, very different. Okay, so Banksy is a prankster. Um, he does performance art. He very, very strongly believes that he sh you should not vandalize others' artwork. So if there's something hanging up, he's not going to paint over it. If there's an original artwork, he's not going to damage it to pull off his prank. He um, is pretty, pretty clear about that. So he went into the Louvre, which is a famous museum in Paris, and he pulled off a very famous prank. So next to the Mona Lisa, which he did not touch nor damage, he placed this picture. He did a similar type of thing at the Metropolitan Museum, which is in New York. At that museum, they did catch him in disguise doing so on their video cameras. Now, they didn't actually catch him doing it at the time he did it because, again, he was not near the artwork itself uh, so he and he was not damaging it, so it didn't set off any alarms or anything. He was actually just installing his own artwork near the famous ones. He is a firm believer that his artwork should be available to all. He doesn't think that art should be something so expensive that only the most rich could afford. So one thing that he did was one day he decided to have his artwork set up on a street in New York City. Uh, there was a nice person who was hired to sell his artwork for $60 a piece. Most people thought it was just exactly what it said, spray art. Um, it wasn't later. People realized that those were actually Banksy's. They weren't rip-off art. And the, piece, the people who bought it, they bought it for their $60. And they now have artwork that's literally worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, one of his things too is that he likes to give away his artwork for free. If you go to his website, um, part of the reason I can show you all of this and we can we can look at it is because that he wants to make sure his artwork is there for everyone. You can actually even download um, copies of his artwork from his own website. To quote him, he says, I give away thousands of paintings for free. I don't think it's possible to make art about world poverty and trouser all the cash. So he's been really practicing what he's preaching. If he's talking about world poverty, he's not making a profit off of it. So I am on our iPad, so it's a little clunky, but I want you to see there is a video out there of him actually painting. So let's look at that. And this is in the West Bank. This, this is the first time pictures of the famously camera shy stencil artists have been shown on television, filmed in a way that hides his identity. His stunts are notorious, he's often political. Here in Abu Dhabi, on the edge of Jerusalem, Israel's security fence effectively cuts off this part of the Palestinian territories from the rest. Israel argues the wall protects it from suicide attacks. Banksy says it turns Palestine into the world's largest open prison. And in that arch way he often adopts on his website, points out the planned 700 kilometers of concrete make it the ultimate graffiti artist's holiday destination. All right, so let's look at a video of one of his most famous pranks that he's done. And this is actually something that he sent in. Let's go back here. Um... He documented himself and posted, and then the Guardian took it, and we are going to show that.
So you can see there that he shredded his own painting because again, he doesn't believe that his artwork should only be available to the rich. So he planned for that. So let's get on to our craft. All right, so we are gonna make um, our craft. And before we do, I just wanna give you a little bit of inspiration. Just like all of us, we're really bored. We've been staying at home. A lot of us have been in quarantine. Well, Banksy has been too, and he's been working from home. So this, is what he's done to his house. He banksified his own house. So although this is very cool and I find it very interesting, please don't do this to your own house, but it is really funny. Okay, so here we go. Let's see, I started with just a blank piece of paper and then I went ahead and took my newspaper and my magazines and I just cut up things just to give me a nice background. Now we're gonna do some stencils, just like he does a lot of stencils. And what I did is I just went online and I printed out some really simple stencils. And then I just cut them out. You don't have to do it this way. You can actually do like, you can cut something out, whatever you want, and you could stencil around it so that you'll get the opposite effect however you want and I decided my theme today I wanted to be music so if you've never done a stencil before I'm just going to show you um, how we do that I chose to do black and white today mostly just because that's the colors that Banksy uses and I thought it went really well with my theme so you can use either a sponge brush Ooh, my paint is a little gloppy or you can use a regular brush and I'll show you how to do both oh, this is just not shaking there we go. Much better. Okay, and I'm using tempera paint, but really anything will work. Watercolors may be a little bit difficult um, just because they're so liquidy, but you could give it a try. So you see how I'm just kind of dabbing here so it doesn't go under? You can do either way. Okay, and then I very carefully peel it up and I've got my first stencil. Let me put this over here and I'm going to do just a few more here. You can do them however you want, whatever theme you want. You can make your stencils whatever you want. You can use stencils like these. Now if you don't have cut out stencils and you want it you want to use something else you can always go around the outside of a shape like this and that'll be a really neat effect as well this is going to look more like a picture frame around it but I just wanted to show you so when I pick it up I still get that all right and let's do a few more shake this up Alright, so there we have our music inspired Banksy painting. So you can do anything you want, any kind of thing you want. Whatever you do, just make sure you do it on your paper. Don't do it on your house like Banksy. Alright, have a great day.